Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Krumbeck. I'm a naturopathic physician and the founder and owner of Montana Whole Health here in Missoula, Montana. So what in the world is a naturopathic physician anyways? I get this question a lot and honestly it can be kind of difficult to explain what I do in a few sentences. Sometimes I just joke and tell people that I'm a hippie doctor or that I have an ND instead of an MD and it looks like there's a typo at the end of my name. But here's my a bit of a longer story of, of what I do and why I do what I do. So naturopathic physicians are trained in four-year medical schools, pretty similarly to conventional medical physicians. Actually, the first two years of naturopathic school looks pretty similar to conventional medical school um, in that we learn all the same basic sciences and the same system of diagnosis. So we do all the anatomy, biochemistry, we do the anatomy cadaver labs, um, we learn all the pharmacology and the laboratory diagnosis. And naturopathic physicians are pretty good at making good diagnostic decisions. It's actually the second two years of naturopathic medical school that look more dissimilar to conventional medicine. In the second two years of a traditional medical program, students are doing rotations in various subspecialties. So that's like oncology, major surgery, emergency medicine, obstetrics. And that's the time for a naturopathic physician where we really focus on our naturopathic therapeutics. So that's the time where we focus on really primary care conditions. Um, once again, we go over the diagnostic criteria for each condition. And then we go in more into detail about how to treat those conditions naturally without having to resort to pharmaceuticals or major surgery. When it comes to the treatment of a patient, this is where naturopathic medicine, I think, looks a little different from conventional medicine. First of all, I spend a lot more time with my patients than they usually experience at a conventional physician's office. And that's because we spend a lot of time trying to figure out why they're sick to begin with. And this is really key to treatment, and this is the key to the philosophy of naturopathic medicine. So when it comes to addressing the underlying cause, naturopathic physicians have a lot of tools in their toolbox. Uh, we often start out with some type of nutrition therapy, which is a personalized diet that's based on the biochemical needs of each patient. And it can look pretty similar from patient to patient, or it can look wildly different as well. Um, we also use a lot of herbal medicine or botanical medicine. And botanicals, remember, have been used for thousands of years to help patients. Um, actually, the majority of pharmaceuticals that are out there on the market now uh, came in from one type of botanical medicine or another and are usually just a synthetically derived um, constituent of one of the plant parts. I prefer to use the whole plant in my office because I find that there are less side effects and usually there are synergistic effects of the plant as well. We can also use vitamin or mineral supplementation and that's also based on the patient's unique biochemical needs. And we can also use it to replete deficiencies which are surprisingly common in the American diet. Naturopathic physicians are also able to do uh, manipulations similar to chiropractic adjustments. And I, in my office, do some gentle manipulations that don't involve cracking or straining the neck. Something that a lot of folks aren't aware of is that naturopathic physicians can also be primary care providers. So here in the state of Montana, I have a broad scope of practice and I can actually be a primary care provider for a child, a woman, um, a man, or their whole family as well. I can do screening exams, I do well child checks in my office, I do immunizations in my office, and I can do either um, the full CDC schedule of vaccines or alternate schedules of vaccines as well. Um, I can do basic blood work or I can do orders for imaging as well. So anything that you would go see a primary care physician for, basically I can do. So the only other difference between me and a lot of other conventional physicians is that I very rarely use pharmaceuticals in my practice. Um, as a naturopathic physician, I feel like I have plenty of tools in my toolbox to help treat folks without having to resort to pharmaceuticals. But what the great thing about being a naturopathic physician is that I have the option to use them when they're necessary. And sometimes they absolutely are. 
So it's great when I have a conversation with folks and I haven't used a pharmaceutical for the majority of my career. Um, when I tell them that they really need it, they know that they really need it. And that's really important too. So another question that I get pretty often is, well, are you against conventional medicine? Absolutely not. Um, I work alongside conventional physicians all the time. I happily refer out to specialists um, who are the experts in their field. So I work with gastroenterologists, internal medicine specialists, pulmonologists, um, other pediatricians quite frequently. And that's so that my patients get the absolute best care that they can. And we often sit down and talk about um, when seeing a conventional physician is the most appropriate for them and their level of care and when it's you know, perfectly fine and safe to just continue naturopathic care in the long term. I hope this was a good introduction for you to naturopathic medicine and the differences between conventional medicine and naturopathic medicine. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on the blog post that's associated with this video. You can also check us out on the web at mtwholehealth.com. And if you have more questions about what naturopathic medicine is or to find a naturopathic physician near you, go to www.naturopathic.org. Thanks.